Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today I'm going to show you how to get the full capacity back of your USB drive or hard disk drive should there be a strange partition you cannot remove. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today I'm going to show you a relatively quick way of restoring the full capacity of your drive should it be a USB thumb drive or a hard drive, SSD, that kind of thing. Now, quite often, if you've downloaded a program, say, for instance, some sort of memory testing program or some kind of bootable drive, and you put it onto your flash drive, you may find once you come to format it, you cannot get the full capacity back of your drive. Now, this is a little 8 gig drive, but at the moment it's showing about 6 gigs because there is a EFI partition in the middle and Windows cannot move it because of where it's situated. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you what I mean and how to resolve it. Okay, so we'll plug the, uh, the drive into our computer. And this is our, our volume. So if we now go into disk management, so right click and choose disk management. And here we can see there is our removable drive. So it's 7.36 gigabytes, so it's eight gig stick. And as you can see here, we've got our healthy EFI system partition. We've got our new volume, which is the FAT32 partition but we've got this weird bit of unallocated space. So there's not a lot we can do. We can't physically drag that partition over to this side to make it one full partition. And you can't right click and choose extend to grab back that extra space. So what we're gonna to need to do is to fire up the command line and we'll fix the drive. So if we close that now, so type in command and right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator and agree to user account control. And the first command we want to do is disk part. And now what we need to do is select our disk. So to know which disk we actually need, what we want to do first of all is do list disk and hit enter. And this gives us a list of our drives. Now in this particular system, I've only got one of the drives, so it makes life nice and easy. If you've got multiple disks, then obviously make sure you do select the right disk, otherwise this could erase your data, so you have been warned. So as you can see there, our drive that we want is the 7,540 megabyte disk, and we'll select that one. So we're gonna select disk one. So select disk and the number one. And now it says disk one is a selected disk. So what we can do now is really nice and easy. If we want to just erase the disk and set it back to its original properties, remove everything, all we need to do is type in clean and hit enter. And we'll get these messages, so we'll cancel that. So that is the disk cleaned. So if we right click on the windows and choose disk management, and there we go. There is our complete capacity drive with unallocated space. So what we do now is we'll create a new simple volume. And we'll use the full size of the space. We'll give it a drive letter. Let's call it Z just to move it away. And we'll format it with NTFS and perform a quick format. Hit finish. And it'll take a little while to format the drive. And there we go there is our new volume. So we can now go ahead and use that, plug it into another PC, and we can use the full space on the drive. So there we go, there's a nice quick easy way of restoring all the available file size or file space on your USB drive. This also works with hard disk drives and SSDs, so feel free to uh, give it a go. So there we go, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.